welcome to my party video presentation. My name is Karen Angela. I am from Indonesia. Currently, I have been in Singapore for two years. Therefore, this is my fifth trimester in Curtin University, and I'm studying finance and banking as my major. That's my little introduction, and now I will tell you the purpose of this of the video is to review what I have learned in the past two years and I will highlight it into five sections. First, reflect what I have done in the employability tool. Second, reflect on my time study enhancing your business mind. Third, reflect on my life at university. Fourth, what are my plans for my career after graduation? And last but not least is a message to my future self. So in the week 1 and week 12 of enhancing your business mind subject, I took a test on employability self-assessment to analysis that relates to my confidence of my six literacy. And this is my result. As you can see, there are noticeable difference on my ethical, cultural, and social literacy and occupational literacy. Actually, I feel shocked at week 1 result as I did not realize how bad I am at recognizing different cultural value, belief, and perception, and also I am inflexible with the career that I will have in the future. Therefore, I try to improve a lot on my ethical, cultural, and social literacy and occupational literacy by using the tips on enhancing my employability that the tool gives. As you can see, there is a lot of tips to improve on ethical, cultural, and social literacy. But I try to improve on my communication effectively with people from different cultures, backgrounds, and authority levels by volunteering on curtain events for Freshers' Day as a facilitator, trying to lead a, a meeting in WIB, and contributing in acts of kindness in CCAC. While on occupational literacy tips, I try to cope with my feelings if my first choice career does not work out. Therefore, I create alternative career plans. For example, I planning to find a job as a finance analyst in Singapore. But if I do not get a job because I'm an international student, then I will go back to Indonesia and help my father's business as my alternative funds. In the past 12 weeks, enhancing a business mind, I learned something useful that prepared me to face the reality in the workplace, something that I never knew before that I have, and also changed my perspective regarding ethics in business. Therefore, there are three most interesting things that I learned enhancing a business mind. First, Gary Pitch which I learned so much about giving persuasive speech that is used to engage the audience at an emotional level. So, this presentation has the ability to make any encounter, whether in a boardroom or in an elevator, that much more memorable using just three sentences. I really think this lesson will be beneficial for me when I have an interview with the company that I will work for. As I learn how to plan my answer to the interview question without too much information, but also, do not leave out the important information. And also, learn to get over my past mistake, which I hardly to do. As when I do the get it pitch, within a short time, I feel under pressure and nervous. So it is easy for me to make a mistake. But I learned how to overcome my fear of making mistakes. As Derek say, it is okay to make a mistake because making mistake is proof that I learned something new. Second, unconscious bias. Confidently, I used to think that I do not have any bias towards something. But after the lesson finished, I realized that everything that I used to do has a little bit of bias. Maybe not a little, but because this is unconscious, so it is hard for me to realize until the lesson. So I start to realize that I have unconscious bias because every choice I made was always the same. I never choose something different or something new. So to break down this unconscious bias is to seek something new or find another perspective from new things. I think this lesson really opened my mind to something that I was not aware of before and I was really happy that I learned this earlier before something that I will regret for the rest of my life. finance and banking as my major after thinking about it for almost about a year until I finally I choose it. However, after I learned it, sometimes I think it is not my future dream that I am really waiting for. 
So, occasionally, I feel frustrated. Then, the thought that I might change my major crosses my mind. Hmm. But then, I consider all the time and money that I had sacrificed for two years. So, I keep remembering the exciting part about finance and banking in the first place, which is the salary, and continue until I graduate. On the other hand, I try to, to find the reason why I do not like finance and banking. And the result is because of my bad habit, which is procrastination. With this bad habit, I didn't really have a good time management, so it affects my mood, my health. Therefore, I don't really have a good time at university as I also feel homesickness and also loneliness. However, there is, some, there is also something I learned a lot during my time at university. Like, now I have become mentally strong because I have been dealing with my problem at university without avoiding it. Fulfilling my expectation after I graduate is my five-year career plans. One month before graduation, I will apply for a job as a finance analyst in Singapore. Then, after I graduate, I have become a finance analyst wherever the company that hired me. Because I am a fresh graduate and international student, so it is hard for the companies to hire me as there are a lot of requirements to hire one international student. Therefore, I will not be picky about where I'm going to work as long as I will get the experience and, min and get the minimum salary of a finance analyst. Then, every year of 3 years working, I will reflect on what I need to improve and also I will join a lot of seminars to gain more knowledge. After that, in year 4, I will go back to Indonesia so I can save more money for me to build a healing house whenever I feel tired. This is my dream to have a place that I can run from all reality because I easily get anxiety so I think I need a lot of my time therefore I need to build something for my future yeah so in year five I will still work as a finance analyst in Indonesia and maybe at this time I will get promoted however if I did not get a job in Singapore I will make alternative career plans for myself so I did not feel lost or do nothing during that time. So my second choice is be the best version of me of myself. If after three months I still cannot get a job, I will go back to Indonesia and help my family business until I get a job as a finance analyst or anything that I can do to fill up my experiences. Then, while I'm waiting, I will also start a small gold jewelry business with my sister until, until I get a job, of course. Then, after that, I will not change much from my first plan, which, which was to save money to have my own healing house. Do not feel discouraged easily. Just take your time. Breathe fresh air. Take a rest. Do not compare yourself with someone else. And face all your problems confidently. It is okay to not become something from what you want. Do not feel bad or under pressure because only you know all the sacrifices, all the hard work, all the progress that you made, and all the problems that you faced. Believe in yourself, that you are strong enough to get through this. You just need to remember that I will always be the one who loves you and supports you. So, don't be hard on yourself and love yourself every day. The conclusion of this video is, I got so many tips on how to improve my literacy that I was not good at before. I learned so much things that made me change my attitude and behavior. And also, it's helped me to understand what I want in the future and be aware of what my future plan will be. Last but not least, it also helped me to reflect upon myself during my study and get to know more about myself that I haven't known before. That's it, my reflective video. Thank you.